What is 5G? Is it the next technological revolution in mobile broadband? Is it the latest iteration of cellular technology that is going to make our wireless lives at least 33 times faster? Is it the future of telecommunications as we know it? Yes, yes and no. It isn't the future anymore, it is the present. According to the Global Connectivity Index, the UAE is ranked first in the Arab region and fourth globally in the launch and use of 5G networks. Cisco, being the worldwide leader in IT and networking, is currently working with dozens of network operators to offer next-generation 5G services. We find out more on today's edition of Arabian Business Enterprise Innovator Series in association with UPS. Well, Cisco is very proud to be an early partner of Expo 2020 here in Dubai. Uh, we are the networking partner and also the security partner. Um, it's going to be the most connected Expo in the 167 year history of Expos. And uh, we aim to provide a whole new experience for visitors, but also uh, have them see what the future holds what's possible with 5G, with artificial intelligence, and with all of the other technologies that 5G will enable. As the Global Innovation Officer for Cisco, I lead a program called Country Digital Acceleration. It's a program that works directly with the leaders of countries around the world to help them execute their national digital agendas and to help them get to the value of digitization faster. We currently are working with 32 countries around the world, representing 60% of global population and 75% of global GDP. The rollout of 5G means a whole new experience for the user. You know, 4G was just an increase in speed. 5G means that for the first time, people in rural regions are going to have access to first quality health care. They're going to have access to education. Um, mobile users will have all of the capabilities of their PCs uh, actually on their phone. Um, in terms of, of where you can work and what you can do and what you can accomplish in terms of productivity is going to fundamentally change that landscape. For the UAE, um, 5G will mean all of the benefits of increased speed and, and improved latency. It will mean that, that the UAE, and particularly in Dubai here, where they're talking about wanting to be one of the early adopters of autonomous vehicles, uh, where they want to be the most connected city in the world, 5G is going to allow for that. Um, the key there is, is to make sure that security is paramount and that as they connect all of the things in the city and become the most connected uh, uh, city in the world, that, uh, that they have the right security built into their 5G networks. The next big technical innovation is going to have to be in response to the fact that we are going from 27 billion connected things to 500 billion connected things by 2030. All of those connections are individual opportunities with the right security, but new vulnerabilities with the wrong security. And so I think the innovations that are going to have to take place in the near term are around security and making sure that we can secure each individual transaction. That is, security is built into the network rather than just relying on, on a firewall. Uh, another innovation I think that is taking place as we speak and will evolve over time uh, is being connected everywhere. Being connected, just like privacy, uh, is a fundamental human right. You know, only 60% of the world is connected to the internet. And I believe that in the next 10 years, we're going to connect that other 40%. And in doing so, in connecting the entire world, we could see as much as $6.7 trillion of global GDP added, and we could bring as many as 500 million people out of poverty. So I think that there's much to be excited about moving forward.